Hello everyone, this is Gene with Mahalo.com. Today I've got a review for you of the Mercury web browser app for iPad. There is a vast sea of web browsers available on the iPad. In order for a browser to reach into even the top 50 most downloaded slots on the App Store, there has to be something unusual about it. It has to do at least one thing better than all the other browsers to set it apart, and then it has to be good enough that people want to download it more than in all but 49 of the other apps. Mercury Web Browser has all the features of most of the top web browsers, desktop web browsers. Sure, it would have been tough to compete with the reigning champions on iPad, not to mention that iPad comes with a web browser. Mercury's team has packed virtually every feature of modern computer web browsers into their mobile browser. There are things like tab browsing, bookmarks, multiple windows, autofill, history, and full screen mode. There are also popular mobile browser features such as private browsing and the ability to view websites as though through a different browser. For example, if you're frustrated with sites locking you into their less feature-packed mobile version, you can simply toggle the switch in the settings menu and trick the site into showing you the same site that you would see if you were on Firefox on your desktop. Mercury goes a bit further and offers items that are typically missing in mobile browsers, but common in desktop browsers. You can download images and files either into the built-in Mercury folder, or you can save images to your photo library. There's a dashboard feature that allows you to set up frequently visited sites and navigate to them with a simple tap. You can open files and other installed applications on your iPad. You can send downloaded files to your desktop via iTunes, and you can email them. There is an in-page search function that highlights every instance of a word or phrase and allows you to quickly navigate through the page. A number of themes are available for you to choose from if the default gray isn't your style. You can print images or pages. There's a traditional scroll bar that you can use to navigate, increase and decrease text sizes, and even save your passwords for easy login to your favorite sites. When browsing on my desktop computer, I can simply click a thumb button and go back or forward a page. Mercury emulates this and several other common functions with a system of swiping and tapping with multiple fingers. It takes a minute to acclimate yourself to the commands, but once you figure it out, you can carry out several common functions more quickly. You can also change the swiping functions around if certain motions are easier for you. With everything that I've mentioned, there are still several functions that Mercury contains that keep them right in line with the best browsers available for iPad. There's a built-in ad blocker, a quick menu full of common functions, video out, a screen dimmer, various startup options, far too many things to list here. The browser is one of the most customizable that I've seen for iPad. In addition to the obvious, the themes and text, you can adjust most of the features or turn them off entirely. One thing's for sure, the browser competition is fierce right now. Recently, Skyfire web browser became the top grossing app in five hours of release. The demand for a good browser is surely there, and while Mercury Web Browser doesn't bring any profound new functionality to web browsing, it has a ton of customization and many features that have not yet made their way to mainstream mobile browsing. There is a light version of the app which limits the number of tabs that you can open, but for 99 cents you can get the pro version and surf without limits. Mercury Web Browser earns its 4.5 out of 5, and you can even have that in your choice of themes. Please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send in your review ideas to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.